Hi, I'm Dusty with Flame Innovation here in Post Falls, Idaho. Today we wanted to show you our new wall bracket that's completely adjustable for your new caboose uh, tiny wood stove. What you'll do is you'll find your stud on the wall. We have an extra bracket behind it because it's just our faux showroom wall. But we've got a stud here. We'll pretend that this is your wall. It has three mounting points with three leg bolts. Once this is mounted to the wall and you kind of know where you're going to go up and out with your, with your stove, you can slide this side by side. goes 10 and a half inches this way or 10 and a half inches that way. Um, then you lock these set bolts in and your shelf is secure. Then we're going to mount the outside heat shields on here and the stove mounts directly to this plate. And then we have a motor mount hole here for an optional fan if you want to blow extra heat into your room. Hi, I'm Dusty with Flame Innovations. We're so excited to show you our new Caboose stove. It is 3 16 construction throughout the whole stove, including the door, the door handle, the hinges, everywhere. We've got Neoceram glass, stainless steel uh, trim ring here. We'll have all kinds of different trim rings that you can pick from to put on here. Um, here's just a few, you know, a few examples of those trim rings. And the stove weighs approximately 65 pounds. It is 24 inches tall from the floor to your stove collar. It's 10 inches deep and 21 inches long. This is the free mount stove or free standing stove that you would put on a hard pad, an R2 hard pad in, in your uh, tiny living space. And if you choose to mount it on the wall with the optional wall mount kit, then this shield comes off and it has a couple of heat shields built into the kit that mounts to the wall. Uh, see our other videos, we'll show you that, uh, that wall mount kit. When you get your stove home and you get it installed, what you want to do is start two or three small fires i mean just this much wood put it in there get it started what that's going to do is it's going to help cure the paint on the stove this is a semitherm paint so it's actually humidity cured you don't have to get the stove up to 600 degrees to cure the paint very little smoke very little smell it's it's a, it's a great paint we paint them here at, at the factory and once you've built those fires then you can go ahead and build you know your first uh, bigger fire Kind of learn your stove. Uh, this is your main draft here in the door. It slides left to right. Then you have your air wash here. There's a metal plate on the inside that's also stainless steel that'll guide the air across your glass. So the glass is going to get dirty here and there as you burn. Different kinds of wood are going to are going to get it dirtier than others. But as you burn, um, that glass will continue to clean itself off. And after a while, you'll have a, a really nice fire that you'll see. These are your different kinds of stove pipe available for the Caboose uh, Tiny Wood Stove. This is a black powder coated uh, seamless stainless steel welded pipe. It fits inside of your stove collar and attaches, you've got pre-drilled holes in your stove collar to attach your pipe. Or you can use the Class A pipe, you'll have an adapter that goes in here. And then your pipe, you've got male and female ends on it. And that'll fit here and it pulls down and twists and locks. And so this is kind of what you'll see when you uh, install your stove and you decide if you're gonna go out a wall or if you're gonna go up through the ceiling. And most people will use a combination of both of the pipes as long as you maintain your clearance for combustibles.
this is the caboose. It uses 4-inch Class A stovepipe and 4-inch single wall stainless steel pipe off of the stove. You can go up and out the roof. You can go up and out a sidewall if you want to do that. This is made in Post Falls, Idaho, USA, hand welded and painted here. It is UL approved. We have Neo Ceram glass with an air wash. The glass is four and a quarter by eight and three quarters. The stove is all 3 16 construction, the top, the front, the bottom, the sides, the door handle, the door, the hinges, everything. You've got main draft control here in the door, and the stove will take a 14 and a half inch piece of wood. That's the beauty of this stove and the burn time that it produces, you know, four to eight hours, depending on how full you put it and what kind of wood you're burning in it. Um, we came in from the side rather than cutting your wood into tiny pieces and coming in through the front of the stove. So this lets us have a little bit bigger firebox, longer burn time, but have a stove that weighs about the same as the competition and burns twice as long.